Savannah Safari, your tryst with adventure. It is unlike anything you have seen before. Jambo, Jambo Guana. A couple of years back, one of our famous heroes, whom we all adore and love, got himself into a serious problem because he was caught. going round in a jeep and shooting some rare antelopes why does hunters use a vehicle or a machan that's because they can chase the animal and also aim at it from a height what happens if the hunter is there with his vehicle and gun the animal is also there but the hunter returns empty handed he returns empty handed because he just could not look at it isn't it funny hi i am basak from savana safari that's s a v a n a safari as a wildlife enthusiast i speak and write on the wonders of mother nature and i specifically undertake customized adventure tours to kenya and tanzania so as i was saying antelopes are usually very big antelopes their height is from 6 feet 6 feet to 3 feet but there is one antelope in africa you can find it in kenya which is just 1 feet high its name is dikti not only is it so small it comes out only during the dawn and dusk so it's very difficult to identify it. in order to making it all the more difficult for the hunter as soon as it sees any danger it keeps still so you can have a situation where the hunter is there with his vehicle but he cannot identify the dictic and even if he identifies the dictic because of the height his own height and the height of the vehicle he cannot shoot down so low at so small a creature so he comes back empty handed sometimes i feel if our hero had decided to shoot a dig dig instead of a black buck he wouldn't have years of legal problem and mental anxiety however for that he would have had to go to kenya so please like share and subscribe to my channel and join me in this amazing journey where i bring you face to face with the cradle of civilization savanna safari your tryst with adventure